happy Christmas day. I hope you have had a good one. Remember last night when we unboxed little Henry Bretton? He's all right. In terms of a thing to look at, he's actually pretty good, but he is weedy as heck. And the main reason I wanted to buy him was to have a go at creating something. This is that Dyson V7 or V8 that I picked up from the free please take thing a while ago and we cleaned them up and I've done nothing with it at all. There's not a battery there. It's just a unit. And what I thought that we would try and do is, ah, come on, I've pre-loosened you. Ah, see if we can get this motor into this Henry and have some better suction coming from here. Now there's a lot of caveats here. This may or may not work, but we're going to give it a go and see if we can make a V8 powered cordless toy Henry. Let's have a go at it. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? <laughs> but how are we going to fit this into there? I mean, the Dyson is bigger than the actual Toy Henry himself. Well, it's because we don't really need an awful lot. We, all we really need to do is remove these terminals, although well, we'll need these screws in a minute, like so. <laughs> One and two, and then the motor simply pulls out, he says, with it not pulling out. Eh. Ah. And that's actually the size of the motor. We may also need eh, this rubber seal as well. The rest of that is going to go in the bin, really, if all this works well. If it doesn't, this may join it. And this is all we need, I think. This bit here is something to do with the speed control. So I'm going to unplug it for now, but we may or may not keep it going. And yeah, the idea is that we're going to roughly put it in there. But before we go cutting all of this around, I'm going to, well, we're going to test and see if this is even possible to do. Let me get this set up and I shall tell you our plan. Okay, well here is our rudimentary circuit. We have the positive going to a switch to the motor positive, negative straight to this. Look, look familiar? That's because we've seen one before. This is another one of these which is holding our gosh. Had a shed up with this the other week. It's still a bit dirty. Yeah, I didn't want to take all this apart because it's only really held on there with a wig and a prayer and I cut the wiring down to match. So this is either going to go horribly wrong or be okay. Oh yes, look at that look, it's on fire. Dang it. Well that didn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, that's all very hot. Okay, well, seems that you cannot direct voltage a Dyson motor, which is a bit of a shame really, because obviously these batteries give out 20 volts, that takes 21.6, but it seems that if you put it straight to it, it doesn't work. Oh, well, that's a big old shame, really. I guess it does help, though, if you connect the terminals properly. The problem is, how does this completely goose it? <laughs> we didn't kill it! <gasps> oh! It was smoking. It obviously didn't pop. Oh my goodness, we had the over the loops for the wrong way around. You can spin a Dyson V8. Oh, this is very exciting, you see, because I've not been able to prep for this. Couldn't start until we filmed the unboxing. Oh gosh. 
opened it before I start. Couldn't start until we filmed the unboxing of this. Couldn't get much further until we'd done this. And I very nearly just ruined the entire thing. Oh, right. I guess we'd better take this apart and work out how to get that inside. Oh, tis certainly the season to be jolly now. We have half a chance of sorting this out. Now, obviously, unlike a real actual pneumatic, there isn't anything under here at all and um, there's also nothing here everything happens underneath and with these four screws they just like the real thing it has four screws as well to undo the first layer of the machine oh they are tiny little screws there obviously huh. You can probably guess where this is going. It has potential, doesn't it? Then we can remove this part here to reveal the inner hardcore workings of the machine. Oh, it's still got batteries in it, though. We have our little motor. In fact, let me see if we can take out... I mean, we don't need any of this, really. This all has to come out. We might need some of the housings to try and work something out. But until then, let me remove this and look here is the beating heart of the Kasdan pneumatic Henry. It's literally a GTEC era is 100% what this is. And yeah the rough vague idea is where is it is with its seal on and just basically plop it there literally there and then cut the housing out. I mean there's not a lot in it really. There's not too much to do. We just need to get rid of everything else first. So I'm going to take the batteries out. I'm going to cut the cables. I'm going to leave the ones to the battery housing nice and long in case we need to reuse them. And we'll see how close this fits then. There we go. I mean, it's not too bad anyway. It's starting to. It's, we've got to cut this around here, I think, quite close to the edge. And it should just slot on. All oh, the smell of acrid plastic is in the air tonight. But here we go. This has been done wrong. We're going to need even more hot glue than we probably already do. Right, so that can sit in there. You can sit on there. Because, again, that's roughly where it's going to sit anyway. And then, ha-ha. And that's good. Because, look, that clamps down around there. And then, I think there's some way to hold this down. I'm thinking just... A lot of hot glue, really, all around. In fact, ah, no, ooh, hello. There's no real reason why we need. Ah, we need that bit actually. Can't really know on that look because that's a venom. Look how disgusting that Dyson handheld motor is. It's definitely seen some use. Okay. So yeah, actually, yeah, with that there, look, we can see it a bit easier where it needs to be I think we have to get the old hot glue out and work it there because basically everything else is going to sit on here and I suppose we could test it slowly now I mean I'm not quite sure what we're going to do about the switch I'm afraid if all we've got to do is sit that in there and check that the head fits on and that's basically how we're going to run it for now I'm not doing anything more fancy than that not quite sure how the switch is going to work actually either can we can we fit her? <laughs> Can we fit this nice random scrap Dyson switch to the housing? Maybe, maybe, who knows? Right, I'm going to come back when I've got a little bit further. Crikey, we've got a lot of tools out. My phone on the side for troubleshooting. Look, Dremel action. We've got bits of plastic everywhere. But actually, that's the only wasted. And of course... <laughs> Oh, most of difference. It's all going rather well. Had to obliterate the housing to fit our Dyson switch in. And it is a jaunty angle and you have to be a little bit careful. But the switch does work and it only jams up sometimes. Then we've just gone to hot glue city, really, and hot glued our Dyson motor into there, which I think is going to be OK. And we are now at the stage where we can test it. Now, I'm not going to stick the battery connector down because I think it's going to do more of a pain than good. Ah. Oh, yeah! Oh, 
Oh yeah, it has some suction now. Absolutely amazing. Now I'm sure if I licked that, it would probably hurt quite a bit. So I did keep, obviously had it apart before, this from the Dyson V8 motor. So I'm going to fit this and, well, I guess we're ready to see how it picks up now. Right, well, together again, we can. Look, I've put the cover on now, so now it's perfectly safe. Look, although it's only 20 volts. Anyway, yeah, it did spin at only 21.6 volts normally. What we have done, however, is completely ruin any tool storage we had at all. The latches on there, like so. I suppose you best get all the tools back out the box, haven't I? I've chucked them back in there before. Let's put the hose on. Ready to try out my toy V8 powered Henry now. Ah. It actually has. Oh, ah. it actually has some suction. Although I have just realised that it looks straight up. There is nothing at all to stop anything going. Look, there's our. That's how it's coming out, look. It's coming out through there. That's amazing. I don't quite know. I think it's running in just sort of low power for the Dyson. I think that's... Which is probably good because it stops it from going nuts. Um, I'm basically going to tape some HEPA flow to the inside of there, look, just to cover that up. Well, it was going well until it stuck down before I pushed it back in. I couldn't really do it. But equally, it's covering up the hole. So that will do. I just cut up one of these terrible pattern Mila bags, which are always handy to have. You never know <laughs> where you're going to bob one. Now, there is actually also no... Oh, see, now I'm going to get too into it because there's also no rubber gasket there. Um... I don't have anything either. We'll just ignore that for now. I think there is certainly things that can be done. So let's let's set up old Henry. Look, we have ourselves a bit of a mess and we can see if he'll clean it up. Now I think we'll, we best stick with the tools open, hadn't we? Oh, I do wish this would... Right, let's put this on the other way. Then the kink in the hose is there. Right. Oh, look, we can... Yeah. We can plug him in, look, or we'll plug him onto his box, put that over there, and there's the switch. I do believe he's clogged already, oh dear. Yeah, so, not a lot of use really until he gets full, but yeah, this is, I probably can't really fit a bag, I am sat here desperately trying to work out how I could possibly fit a bag, and I guess, I guess there is ways to do it, isn't there, you have to comment down below and we'll see if we can revisit it, so I think what we'll do is, in fact, we'll get rid of the work carpet completely because, of course, Henry is now done. I have upgraded uh, the cordless Henry. So we'll put a bit of dirt down. I'll try and keep it, you know, not dusty. <laughs> it's like it's like the Mila Blizzard that I did the other day. It didn't like dust either. Ooh, what do we reckon? Now... This normally wouldn't stand a chance at all, but I'm really going to put the floor tool on because, hey, you know, these are supposed to act like the real thing. I don't know how long it's going to take for it to clog up, though. Are we ready? Yeah, that's the switch. More fun this way than with the one.
instructions plainly. I don't know how much that Dyson motor can take. Oh, come on! No. I just don't like the high pitched noise it's making at all. Yeah, very, very full though. Look, you wouldn't get that out of this normally. Um, let's tip this. Ah, I'm going to tip this into these Rice Krispies are stale anyway, so I'll tip them back into the pot. Wow, we did it, folks. We have made a one of a kind custom. The only one in the world. We've got a, I've got couple of pneumatics like that now and we've got RGB Henry we've got this they're both very rare and one of a kind because we cobbled them together ourselves so what do you think yes I can definitely put this out Christmas day now that is why we unboxed it yesterday because again I had to get the thing unboxed to work out what I was going to do this parking bracket it's terrible Captain I mean, it's almost as bad as the real thing. You can't really have the hose connected whilst it is on there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look, I just found look, an original piece of foam from the Dyson maker. <laughs> oh, doesn't quite pull itself forward. So, the V8 powered Kasdan Henry vacuum cleaner. What do you think? How could we improve it? I'll tell you straight away that the motor from a Dyson V10 or V11 won't work, which is incredibly sad. Because I got one here, and these apparently, max voltage, these get pumped from the Dyson, is 31.6. Now, my battery is 20 volt, or it could be 40 if I put them into, is it? Parallel? See, this is the bit I don't know, which is why I kept it simple. Dyson, whatever that was, V7, V8, runs at 21 point something. So, more than fine for a low stress version of this. But yeah, I'll, sadly, on the newer ones, I think the suction comes from these outer rings, and obviously, on this, it has to come from the centre, which is why the V8 works so well. And we have a more usable toy. So, Happy Christmas. Hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think. And crikey, there might be another video or two coming up normally, but it'll be time to sort out 12 vacuums in 12 months, it won't it? No, probably not going to use this. Although, please do let me know any ideas to put a little bag in it. I mean, something like this is probably going to be as small as I've got and going to be completely stupid. But the problem is, it's only the sealed units in the back so it's probably just going to be a toy but equally a toy that works a lot better than this for sure just for thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i am my digital motor henry kasdan car look at this look none of this rubbish we'll see you soon Bye-bye.